This presentation is about how to prepare a business case study. You will learn how to read a case and how to write up or discuss your thoughts with others. Cases test your creative thinking and analytic skills. Can you see the big picture and the dirty details? Can you use the available information to analyze and present your case? I'll present ideas that help you answer these questions. What do I mean when I say getting the most out of a business case? I mean that with a serious approach, you can learn a lot from a business case. You learn to identify and assess issues and to better solve problems based on the data available to you. There are several ways to get the most from a case. First, prepare. You can expect to spend two to three hours preparing a case. It takes that amount of time to read, understand, and analyze many cases, though your mileage may vary. Participate in the conversation. We will interact online during class each week. Plan to bring your ideas forward. Share. Be prepared to share your thoughts and to listen to those of others. Sharing with each other is an invaluable way to learn about business case problems from multiple perspectives. Relate what you are learning to what you do or have done in your career. The goal is to transfer the learning to a new context and build your memory of the ideas. Finally, be conscious that you are improving your decision making. Focus on how you are making decisions to learn how you can improve even more. Now let's focus on the case itself. What do you do first when you sit down to work on your case? First, read the case quickly, like a magazine article. Scanning the first and last paragraphs and each paragraph topic and conclusion sentence throughout the case. The goal is to get an initial idea of what the case is about. Next, read the appendices. Note what data are provided there. Case writers usually include only things that are useful. Identify how each item in the appendix could help you. Often there will be tables, either in the case itself or in the appendices. Identify the value of each table and how it can help you with the issues in the case. Having scanned the case, identify what type of case it is. A problem, decision, or evaluation. We will look at these more closely in a minute. Once you have gotten a good overview of the case, then it is time to sit down and go through it carefully. As you read, study the situation. Get a sense of the situation you are facing. And describe the exact problem, decision, or evaluation that you must address. Next, begin to develop hypotheses that consider what may be causing the situation in the case. Then build support for your hypothesis. By extracting and analyzing the data found throughout the case. And identify what you are going to do about the situation. Lastly, evaluate the options you've considered and make your recommendation. State which option is most likely to succeed. And identify potential weaknesses in your chosen option and how you could address them. There are a few general principles for how to discuss or write up a case analysis. First, state your conclusion. What is the outcome to address the situation in the case? Then discuss the data and analysis that support your conclusion. Build a story from the data to make the case. Then discuss a detailed action plan. Explain what you will do first, when you will do it, and what the outcomes are expected to be. 
problems. A problem is a situation in which there is a significant outcome or performance, but no explicit explanation for it. Something happened, but it is not clear why. Define the problem specifically. Search for the cause of the situation in the case using relevant tools from various business disciplines. If you use marketing, you would use frameworks like the four P's, the three C's, and so on. Similarly, you might use discounted cash flow analysis from finance, or your ability to analyze a balance sheet using principles from accounting, and so on across the disciplines. Decisions. Although nearly all cases contain decisions, this case type is focused primarily on an explicit decision that must be made, for instance, build versus buy. Then identify decision options and decision criteria and apply the evidence to the criteria. Evaluations. An evaluation is your judgment about how well a particular act or outcome turned out. For example, evaluating a particular decision that has already been made. Develop your own criteria to apply in judging the situation. These may come from within the case, business discipline frameworks, etc. Evaluate both the positive and negative sides of a situation to offer a view from both perspectives. I have developed slides for how you can read and prepare and write or discuss each type of case, problems, decisions, and evaluations. In the interest of time, I'm going to focus on the decision case. This is the type of case we will face most of the time. I refer you to the notes for details on problem and evaluation cases. First, you study the situation. This means identifying decision options, evaluating their strength, identifying the risk of each option, including doing nothing, creating criteria for evaluating the options, and then identifying the most important criteria. Next, select the strongest criteria and evaluate the options. This will help to expose strengths and weaknesses for each option. Then focus on the hypothesis option you are most confident about. Consider that option from multiple viewpoints. And consider the protagonist's role and the implications of their making the decision. Next, you move to proof and action. Gather evidence about your top hypothesis. And be sure to assess your option quantitatively using the data in the case and your own analysis. Identify the actions that you could consider given the data analysis. And create a statement of what you will do and when you will do it. The final step is to evaluate the alternatives. Here, you are going to challenge your chosen option by finding the biggest risks and downsides to your recommendation. Then, you turn around and describe how you would handle the risks and downsides. Next, you identify the strongest evidence against your option to be aware of how others might criticize your plan. Finally, take the position of advocating for the major alternative hypothesis and find support for it. When it comes time to discuss the case, or write about it, you take the analysis and work you did in preparation and organize it to make a strong presentation. First, state the decision you recommend in a single sentence. Then add several critical reasons for your decision. You will support these reasons with data. 
Next, you make your case. Present the options you considered and the decision criteria that you used to evaluate the options. Explain how the decision criteria fit the recommended option and show how the same criteria did not support other options. Finally, acknowledge any potential disadvantages to your suggested option. Then, you state your action plan. Clearly explain what you would do in the short, medium, and long term. And define any potential risks and how you would respond. Doing all the actions described for preparing a case will give you what you need to present your ideas in class or in writing. This approach also provides a template you can use for analyzing any decisions you may face. There is similar guidance for problems and evaluations that describe how to approach those kinds of cases. You can read about that on your own. And that brings us to the end of this presentation on preparing business cases.